Hi, this is Ellie from ProLifeForMankind.com and today I'm going to share a little bit about my book and why we have to prepare for 2031. Now as I recently came out in my latest video, I told you that there were 46 stars on the tomb of Guadalupe. They represent our 46th president and it makes sense because look at my findings on the bottom of the toma. 1903 is a year. The Tau, these are Greek letters by the way. The Tau, 19th character of the Greek alphabet. The Gamma is the L shaped. The third character which represents 1903. And the Epsilons right here represent 2020. Now I told you there are 46 stars on the Tilma. That represents the 46th president and he will begin in January 20. 21. We'll look at the years on the tomb I found, 1903 to 2020. So this is actually a timeline of events. As you can see, if you switch the characters, you get 319, 2020. And what happened this year in 2020? Pope Francis called this the year of St. Joseph. Well, guess what? 319, 2020 is the Feast of St. Joseph. This is what the Tilma shows. Um, interesting also, 319, 2020, the Feast of St. Joseph. The week before the week of St. Joseph on 319, 2020, the pandemic was called. Just a week be prior to this feast day, 319, 2020. So this tilma is accurate. The 46 stars represent the 46th president. And the years on the tilma, 1903 to 2020, represent the final years before the chastisement begins because as America goes, so does the world. The 46 stars represent uh, the 46th president of the United States of America. She is the woman of the Americas, Our Lady of Guadalupe, the woman of the apocalypse. This is an apocalyptic tilma of Guadalupe. Now I'd like to show you um, this video which talks about why we must prepare for 2031 and how um, Our Lady of Fatima is the name. Fatima is uh, connected to the name of Antichrist. It was a warning. Our Lady of Fatima was warning about the Islamic Antichrist. Both of them because I the Imam uh, comes from uh, the daughter of Fatima and the name that I found on the Tilma on the right hand, Famat, is an Islamic name. And it's has e Fatima has every single word of that name of Antichrist. So let me play uh, a little bit of my book that explains to you why we must prepare for 2031 and the connection to Fatima. G on the left hand is faintly seen the number 500 where the two zeros are in the shape of half moons. The year 500 represents the year 2031 which will be the 500th anniversary of Our Lady of Guadalupe. Interestingly, 2031 is seven years from 2038, the year prophesied by St. Magdalene Porset and St. Bridget of Sweden, as the next time specific feast days occur in which the world will cry woe, woe, woe. The number 500 is displayed on the left hand to show importance to opposing the angel chip and mark of Antichrist on the right hand which will come possibly in 2031 and thereafter. It is certain then that the year, 2031, represented in the number 500, on the left hand, is a warning of the coming angel chip and mark of Antichrist. The use of passport cards with chips to rid the world of cash will come most likely before 2031. Also, it is most likely. 13. The angel chip comes possibly first in 2031, then the mark of Antichrist thereafter. H, the letter F in red horizontally shown with Tau cross and two other crosses at neck of our Lady of Guadalupe. At the end of time, Calvary is displayed with the Tau cross and the letter F shown horizontally in red with curved horn-like extensions. There are seen also two faint crosses representing the good thief and the bad thief. Everything happens at the neck because those who are found worthy are tested by Antichrist and Antipope and are beheaded for their faith. Today, although Antichrist is not in the public, many. 14. 
people are being beheaded for their faith and facing persecution of all types. I possible cipher of Antichrist with letter F. The letter F was found on the tilma of Guadalupe. It is written horizontally because Antichrist is ruler of the world. Also, notice two horns compose letter F, the sixth letter of the English alphabet, and in ancient Greek, represents also six. Above, in a circle, is the possible. 15. Cipher of Antichrist to come who will draw his letter of his name on a cipher and stamp it on either the forehead or right hand of followers. J. Tap cross over the mark of Antichrist showing Jesus and his remnant church will triumph. Horizontal letter F with two horns. Figures show in white tau cross, pick on right, and victory over mark of Antichrist F in black, pick on left. 16. K. Name of Antichrist on right hand of Our Lady of Guadalupe. The tilma of Guadalupe reveals that the character is F, and the number of his name is 6. To the far right, in the red lettering is seen the name F6 Ahmed and in the purple is seen the actual placement of the letters I have found on the right hand on the tilma of Guadalupe. Fomit is Arabic and means darkness and understanding. The number six comes after the letter of his name F. On the far left picture, see the actual first four. 17. Characters on the right hand of Our Lady of Guadalupe, F, 6, A and H. Recall in the book of Revelation, chapter 13, that no man might buy or sell, but he that hath the character, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. The tilma of Guadalupe reveals that the character is F, and the number of his name is 6. Interesting, too, that every letter of Fahmet is found in Islamic name Fatima. As the right hand is separated by the left hand by the name Fahmet, so the people of God will be separated by the man of sin before Jesus returns in glory. Many will die for their faith, and many will fall for the lies and deception of the Antichrist. Mark of Antichrist. Thank you for watching this video. Here's my latest discovery on the Tomb of Guadalupe, 1903 to 2020, the last 117 years on the Tomb of Guadalupe. And my latest book now available at Amazon, The Warning, Miracle, and Name of Antichrist on Tilma. My two other books are also available at Amazon, Timeline on the Tilma and Three Antichrists of Revelation, and also available the last 170 years on the tomb of Guadalupe towards year 2038. Well, God bless. Thank you for watching this video. Remember, we're living in the last days. Pray fast and live a pure life. Give your heart to Jesus. Pray for an end to abortion. And please, please pray that Donald J. Trump gets in as our president.